better than non-avoiding alcohol. Um, that, that you were talking about at the beginning. You said cannot be better than non-avoiding alcohol. Um, cannot be better than non non any none of any alcohol. None of uh, still definitely change it. None of, not none avoiding. Okay. Cannot be better than none of alcohol. It cannot be better than I wrote down to say avoiding alcohol completely. It cannot be better than avoiding alcohol completely. Um what is the it cannot be better than abstaining from alcohol abstain is sometimes a word that you can use to say not doing something I, I would say avoid cannot be better than avoiding alcohol completely cannot be better than staying away from alcohol completely cannot be better than not drinking alcohol is okay but it just sounds a little bit better to use a word like avoiding or staying away from and he Jin I don't believe it's really help to my health um, I don't believe it's really helpful for my health mm -hmm. definitely say helpful instead of health I don't believe it's really helpful for me mm -hmm. for my health you said I want to be the one who will die first or no you said I want to be the one who will first die you need to change that I want to be the one who will die first mm -hmm. Or you can just say, I want to die first. I forget what you're talking about. Zombie. Thing. Zombie. Zombie. I yes. want to die first, yeah. <laughs> or I, it's, I want to be the one who dies first. Yes. Uh, and then you said, everyone want them to get it. You were talking about the limited item, limited mm. item. Everyone want them to get it. Uh, maybe everyone wants to get it. Mm. That word them doesn't really fit. In there, someone you said it doesn't bother that much. I would say it doesn't bother me that much. Bother me, bother me. It bothers me. It doesn't bother me. You said graduated really good universities. You need to just add the word from. Graduate from. I graduated from. He graduated from. And then when you were talking about when she's dead, when she's dead, you want to say when did she die when did she pass away or die is fine when did she die not when she's dead uh, you were talking about the artist you said shocking in his period maybe you want to say for his period you for can say shocking in his period it depends on whether you want to emphasize he was shocking at that time or just in general um Shocking for his period my sounds my a little bit. Was, my intention was his art work was kind of shocking in his period. In Does his period. Only at that time, but it's still kind of shocking when oh, you yeah, consider okay. that. Mm -hmm. you, in is okay, for just sounds a little bit better to me. Grammatically, it's okay. And they are ahead of time. They are ahead of time. That sounds like a schedule type thing. Mm -hmm. They are ahead of time. When you're talking about an artist or someone, you say they were, or are, but probably it's going to be past tense, they were ahead of their time. He was ahead of his time. She was ahead of her time. They were ahead of their time. And Ji Yun, you said, I don't want to watch that kind of stuff. What were you talking about? Uh, I, you shouldn't say watch. See, you should say see. What were you talking about? Do you remember? Like the, I don't want in to. apartments. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's nothing is happening there, right? There's no action going on, so you're not watching it. I don't want to see that kind of stuff. Or look at is also okay. They don't get money a lot for painting. You just need to change the order. They don't get a lot of money for painting. Uh, you said mostly, not all of them. Or you said mostly, not all. 
say most of them are most of them most of them yeah not mostly mostly is used uh, to signify that something is mostly done almost complete right uh, mostly almost the full way but when you're talking about people most of them and I'm not sure she is real just add the word if I'm not sure if she is real. You're always going to follow. I'm not sure. If you end the sentence, it's okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If you're following it up with something, you're, it's going to be with the word if. I'm not sure if this is true. I'm not sure if I heard you correctly. Just use the small word if. Any other questions? No? Okay. Yes. Someone were. Someone were. About preposition. Yes. Work in the company or work for the company. I would say in. In is better. He works in Samsung. He works for Samsung. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he works at Samsung. So which proposition is? He works at Samsung. Okay. He works for Samsung. He works in. I would in actually. I don't like. I don't like in. Mm. <laughs> he works at Samsung. He works for sounds the best. Oh, okay. He works for Apple. He works for. Mm -hmm. If you want to emphasize the place, like uh, he works at is okay, especially if you want to emphasize the place. You know, there is a big Samsung building over there. Oh, he works at Samsung. Mm -hmm. Let's go down the street. But either is okay. He works in is. I would only use it if. Oh, he works in the blah 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 building or he works in it's okay but four is probably the best yeah. Thank you. no problem oh, I have yeah uh, when i introduce myself to do it position like i'm uh, a manager in or at i'm a manager for some some blah 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 i'm a manager at Again, for and at sound better than in. I'm a manager for, I'm a manager at. Both sound okay. I'm a manager in. It's okay, but it's just sound, uh, I, would pref I would say, I'm a manager for. I would say for or at. For or at. Pro not in. Yeah. No problem.